All right, guys, how are you? Hey, uh, let's just get this started. Let's get the ball rolling. Uh, look, thanks for your time today. I know there's only a handful of us on here, so let's uh, try to cut to the chase uh, and just jump straight into this video. Um, if you have any questions, we can drop them in and we'll, we'll cover them at the end. But let's just talk about why the hell we're here and the fact that you've clicked on the ad and we're coming here. So um, video number one, let's talk about, I'm going to expose you to the facts. So let's get started. My name is Don McStraw. I am a hair and conditioning coach and performance coach here at the McStraw Method. And we coach our clients on what I call the daily 2%. Um, we'll talk about that there a bit later on as we go through the challenge over the next uh, five to seven days. So this, let's just be clear, this will not be your typical short-term challenge, okay? So I'm not here to give you any quick fixes. Uh, I'm not gonna need any hacks. I'm not gonna sell you any pills, any potions, any bullshit magic lotions. Um, so if that's what you're looking for, um, then you know what? You're probably in the wrong place and you might as well feel free to just end this video now and, and drop off. So. A cautionary warning, um, there will be language, so if it does offend you, it's not my intent, but I'm going to be quite real. So if you're the type of person that um, is here and then you know you're not quite sure and you don't like swearing, uh, then, mate, this is your first choice. Um, I'm going to give you five seconds to stay or go. Simple. Three, two, one. Okay, great. So at least everyone's staying so far. Okay, as I said, this won't be a typical give your solution or a hack. Um, this is going to be down to earth, raw, it's real, it's me. Um, and therefore, I, I hope that you'll actually get some value out of me just being straightforward and honest. Okay, so let's jump into this next tiny part. Pills, potions, as the slide said, magic lotions. Uh, what we're going to do is spend some time looking back at why the stuff that you've actually done in the past hasn't worked. Um, why it's failed you. And I say that's failed you, not necessarily you have failed, although we take that on board and we say we've failed. But then the key thing that we do in the program that we will obviously talk about later on is I want to reverse that and then go through what are the changes that are necessary for you to actually sit back, reassess, set, and then go after the results that you're after, but results that are long lasting. So it's not a seven day shred. It's not a 14 day challenge. It's not $28 for 28 days. Look at me drop and you just drop a whole lot of water and then shit, you just put the crap back on. So does that sound okay with everyone in the group? So just give me a thumbs up. Okay, all right. Okay, Martin, come on, one more. Okay, great, thank you very much. Okay, let's start with this. The fitness and the wellness industry is here to screw you. Yeah, and I'm in that industry, so bend over. Now, look, I'm only joking. The chances are that what you've seen or what you've tried and what you've heard about, it's all along the same lines. It's like you're talking about solutions. So they're giving you a solution. So try this, these five exercises. These will shred the fat. These will give you a six pack. You know what I mean? They're trying to give you a solution. For some people, those little things may work, but they do they don't last long, okay? For the majority of us, and, and I'm going to chuck myself into that, I was down that path, we're jumping from one thing to another, and we're not addressing what we say is, you know the phrase, the elephant in the room? And that elephant is facts. We've all got pain that we're going through, which is why majority of us are here, but the facts are we ourselves are probably the problem. So you see, it's it's not good enough for me to start talking about where you should go and the path that you should take until you actually get a baseline. So so literally, it's like, where the fuck are you at today? I don't mean yesterday, last week, two months ago, I trained with this person. Um, I, I mean, like today, it's a bit like me saying to you, jump in your car and ask Google, Siri or Alexa how to get to Disneyland. Right, they're going to go like, what? See, if you don't give them your starting point, they can't tell you how the frickin' will get to the destination. So that actually makes sense, okay? It's a simple analogy. It's something that someone else has used that I actually quite like. It's like, jump in the car, take me here. Take me here from where, all right? So the industry is all about the end game. And in actual fact, it's not the end game that we want. 
until we know where the fuck you're actually coming from, I can't actually talk about the end game. So hopefully that's step number one. Is that clear with everyone? Uh, a simple yes in the chat box that that's understood. So the chances are that the first element is knowing where you are today are the facts is probably the one key element that we're actually missing um, about fixing problems, getting over pain points. But what I want you to do is realize that you can actually stop reveling, uh, stop failing and reverting again and again and again back to that old shit if we actually understand where we are. So I really want you to do is Get onto a program, whether it's with ourselves, whether it's with another coach or something else, but stay on the path. Don't get off that freaking path. Like Dorothy didn't get off the yellow brick road. That's how the hell she found the bloody wizard. So you need to be like Dorothy. So our aim is over today, and we're not going to be too much longer, but the next couple of days as part of the video series challenges, I want you to focus on a couple of key things. And the first one of this list is the facts. I need to know where your facts are. You need to know where your facts are. Don't bullshit yourself. Don't let your someone tell you, oh, you're good. You, know, you don't want to have that you know, helicopter parent going, no, you're a great little person. Just keep going. I mean, sorry, I'm sorry. If you're fucked up, you're fucked up. Don't put your position... At, Put yourself in a position to look around for other validation from other people. Do it yourself. So getting the facts won't be pretty. So let's throw this out there. Here are a couple of things. Why do you overeat? Why do you emotionally eat? Why do you binge eat? And I'm not saying that food's necessarily the answer. But the aspect of eating is one of those ones where we all, we all gravitate to an excuse straight away. So you say you don't have time. You say you're stressed. I just grabbed it on the run. I had to get back. I mean, fucking bullshit. I'm going to call bullshit now on that element alone. Why does your motivation wane? So it goes up and it goes down. It goes up and it goes down. All right? And why do you jump from this one to this one to this? And, and I did that. And to some extent, I still do that on certain things. But why do you do it? You don't actually bloody well complete the last thing. It's like going to the doctor, getting a prescription at seven days of three pills a day. And you get to day five and think, I'm feeling a bit better. Well, fuck it, I won't take the rest of them. What? You're back to them next week again. And then doctor says to you, did you take the seven days? No. Oh, fuck, Listen. So we get you to accept the facts, then we're ready, but not until then to actually start talking about what the next step should be. All right, so let's wrap this one up. It's going to be a quick one. Your homework for today is pretty straightforward. It's very simple. I want you to answer these simple questions, but I want you to write the damn answers down. Don't think about them. I actually want you to articulate pen, paper, write. Okay, and therefore we'll develop maybe a new skill, which is learning how to actually write instead of using our opposable thumbs. Question number one, how is your food? So today, are you vegan? Are you a meat eater? Are you a paleo? Are you a meat and three veg? Are you fasting? Do you eat fast food? Do you have your meals prepared and sent to you? Do you buy them? Do you eat out four nights a week? Where is your food? Today, tell me what the last week has been like. Cool. Yes, everyone gets it? Cool. Number two, how's your training? So when you're doing your workouts, once a day, three times a week, five times a week, seven times, 10 minutes, sitting on the treadmill scrolling through Facebook, where's your training at? So you plan for three, work gets busy, it becomes two, our oh, shit can't do two, now it becomes one, oh damn, end of the week, I didn't do anything. But outside of that, how off, where are you walking to and from? You're driving to work. So what's your training like? Question number three, where's your sleep at? So are you waking up and feeling tired? Do you get five hours of sleep? Do you get eight hours of sleep? 
Is it great sleep? Is it deep sleep? Or do you wake up constantly throughout the night? If you've got a Fitbit like I have, do you actually check your sleep? Do you know what REM is? Do you know your deep sleep? Do you actually see your cycles? Do you struggle to fall asleep? Can you go in, lay down, and within a couple of minutes, are you out? Number four, where's your head at? And I'll say to some people, sort of tongue in cheek, if it's up your ass, pull it out. But where's your head at today? Are you motivated? Are you willing to learn something? Are you, meh, whatever, another dickhead on the video, just here to listen, see what shit he has to spill out? Are you angry? I've done this that many times. I keep failing. Fuck it, I want to find out something different. Are you positive? Okay, great. Maybe this is something else. Or are you like, what now? What do I do next? Give me, give me, give me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Who's around you? Who's around you that's your support structure? Who's your genuine support structure and who isn't? This is actually a key. They talk about surrounding yourself with the five key people of influence in your life. So if you go on to do something different, and it's not just a gym membership, but if you go on to do something different, will you get support at home? What about your kids, your brother, your sister, your mother, your dog, your lover, the neighbor's missus, the milkman? Will you get the support that you need? Will people be there to support you or will they not? And you're doing this on your own. So there's five simple, straightforward questions plus that support question. I want you to write them down. When you've got that done, I want you to go to the base of this landing page and there's an email. I want you to submit your email. Click it. That's going to trigger off our seven day series, all right? We're going to go through a few things. We're going to go through, talk about our pain. Why are we here? We talked about the problems and we started that a bit today about what are the facts. We'll maybe start to look at what's the possibility? Where could you be in the future if we get this shit right? On the way along the path, there are obstacles. What obstacles do you think can happen? And how do we go about them? And how do we overcome them? And then what is the path for you? So I hope that over the next five to seven days, I can help you with that. Um, I am 50. I am not some green young trainer that's just come out of the Institute of Fitness. Uh, I have two kids. I have two dogs. I have a mortgage. And in my 40s, I was 115 kilos. I was like the freaking marshmallow man out of Ghostbusters. And I thought I knew it, and I dropped weight, and then I went after the thing. I did the trainer in the gym. I did that. I went to the this new gym, this and that's your gym. And it wasn't until I had two strokes in the space of six months that I actually got my shit together and worked out there's got to be a better way, and that better way is going to be something that's for me. So I'm hoping that I can maybe help you with that. So what we do with our, with our clients is, yes, through fitness, we help people change their lives. But the fitness is one element. Changing your mindset is another element. Right? Changing your attitude is another element. And that all starts with understanding the facts of where you are today. So guys, on that, I'm Don McStraw. This is the McStraw Method. We'll talk about the 2% more in the subsequent couple of days. Do your homework, keep it down, go down below, give me your email, click, and then you'll get the information about the challenge and how we're going to go and do that via email, and then we'll trigger it off from there. Look, thanks for your time. Please drop the questions. I will hang on, but I'm going to cut the video out shortly. Drop the questions in. If you've got any specific questions that you want to come direct to me, then I'll do so. Other than that, guys, thanks for your time. And I look forward to, um, to catching up with you guys soon. Cheers.